Well, hello, everybody. This is Cleta Colson Air, Mary Kay, Independent Future Executive Senior Sales Director. But really, I'm just a beauty consultant, just like the girl that asked you to watch this video. So today, I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite products that they never run out. And what could that be? Brushes. <laughs> you know what? When you have a really good set of brushes and you keep them really nice like this, you are going to look cuter. Let me just tell you that. And I am one that BMK, okay, before Mary Kay, I had some brushes and I thought, I don't need brushes. I got some brushes. I got them at Wally World. And um, I think that's where I got them anyway. And then Mary Kay came out with them and I was like, oh, oh, okay. And I noticed that they weren't scratching my face. Now that sounds extreme, but if you have cheap brushes and you're going like this, it should feel nice. It should feel like a spa experience when you use your brushes. If it feels hard at all, you got some cheap brushes. I just, the only way I need to say it. So I'm gonna go over all of these brushes and we have a new little container that you can get right now. It is limited edition. So you need to tell your consultant ASAP that you want to get this because when they're gone, they're gone. And usually the cute stuff, they just go fast because this just came out in the month of May. Okay, so this is a little container and you can get it with our newest brush. So I'm just gonna start with the newest brush that Mary Kay just came out with. And this brush is our, it is called, they all have different names, right? This is called our eye blending brush. That is actually called the smudge brush. So let me get the new brush. They all look alike on here. Okay, hang on, let me find it. Okay, this would be it. Okay, this is our new eye blending brush. Okay, so it's kind of fat, it's long, and I really like it because, you know, we just got these new eyeshadows, right? And so it just gives you a really nice, nice um, blend to your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna, this is a new one here, so I'm gonna grab mine. So after you do your eyeshadows, you just take it and you literally just, it gives you that really smoky effect. And I want to tell you, I was telling my consultants earlier that I have a ton of brushes. And honestly, when Mary Kay came out with this one this month, I thought, I don't need it. If you could see how many brushes I have. But of course, I had to open it. It's softer and yet stiff and it blends, but it doesn't take your eye makeup off. It's just a really, really nice brush. So this brush is... Um, with the with the organizer, it's twenty two. Okay, this brush by itself is twelve dollars. So you get this little organizer, ten extra dollars. You get the organizer, and it'll hold all your brushes. Isn't that neat? I just love it. Okay, so that's the new eye blending brush. I wanted to show you that one first. Okay, so now I want to show you some of the bigger brushes. So this one is. Let me show you the one because these, these are the new ones. So I'm gonna show you how pretty it is. And what's so great, it actually says down here, all over powder brush. And so this is for your translucent powder or your, um, if you want to use some pressed powder even. And so I use it every day and I actually use this brush after, like the last thing, I put this in my translucent powder and then I take it and I smooth out all of my makeup. And what it does, it gives you that flawless finish. And if you tend to be a little oily, you can take it and just kind of actually roll it like this with your translucent powder. And that gives you just a little extra um, with that powder that gives you just kind of takes away the shine. So like whatever you do, you want to finish with your translucent powder. Okay. I love this brush because it's big, it's fluffy, it's soft, and you, it doesn't go everywhere when you're trying to put on your last step. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is, well, let me do this one. Well, I'll do this one. Okay, this is the Mary Kay Cheek Brush. Okay, it's got a little thumb, like you can, a little finger uh, place here. Okay, so what it's used for is you're gonna use it for your cheek, but you're gonna also can use it for your highlighter. So if I was doing cheek, I would just hold it like a pencil and I would just blend, okay, my cheek color like this. But after I do that, then I take it and I hold it like this with my finger in that little indentation. I put it in a little bit of our highlighter and I just go right up here, okay? And then 
I actually don't switch hands. Okay. <laughs> and then I go right up here. Okay. And then I also do a little bit right here and I do a little bit right here. So it's just, a, I hold it kind of close to the handle and it just gets it right where I want it. Okay. Then you can also use this as your, I usually, I have actually a, another brush that looks like this and I use it for my contour and for the contour it's a little bit darker it's the one I like is called latte and so I do it right here okay on both sides and I hold hold my little finger there to keep it stiff I do it right here because I don't know what happened but like once I turn a certain age I'm like what are those things hanging down under my neck well you can just camouflage them. <laughs> and so then I put some under my chin like this too. And then I put a little bit, you know, like around the edges and it just kind of softens. If you have a high forehead, like I do, you know, it kind of softens that as well. And so that's the contour brush. Some people also like take a little bit right here, you know, around their nose. And so you can go just to your heart's desire with cheek color, highlighter and contour. So that is this awesome little cheek brush, okay? The cheek brush, by the way, the all over foundation brush is 16. The cheek brush, I'm going to tell you individually, and then there is a set. The cheek brush is 14. Okay. Okay. The next one I want to show you would be if you were using mineral powder foundation. Okay. This is our mineral powder or our powder foundation brush. All right. And it is kind of rounded at the top. It's thicker and it's stiffer. Okay. So you would put some in there. I got two sets of brushes. Okay, this is mine. <laughs> I would put it in there and then I would take it and I would blend it like this, okay? My mineral powder foundation. And I would just use it to really get it in there and get, give me some really great coverage, okay? So I would just take it and that's this mineral powder foundation brush. I love this brush. Okay, this mineral powder, uh, mineral powder foundation brush is 14. All right, the next one I wanna show you is like, we're gonna be putting on our foundation. So there's a couple of different ways you can put it on. One of them is, this is the liquid foundation brush. It's kind of slanted. If you kind of see, it's slanted. And it's um, really soft and smooth. The bristles got lots of bristles here. And so it gives you a really smooth look to your foundation. And so I use this a whole lot. And so I just sit here and I, I usually take and I put my foundation on the back of the hand, dip it in there, and then I take it, I usually just dot it like this. And then I take it and I blend, okay, just like that. And you can blend kind of in a circular motion. I always thought before you would just blend down because the hair's on your face, you know, you don't want them waving at each other. But then I heard, I think it was Louise Costco or somebody say, you want to do it in a circular to give you better coverage. So now that's what I do. And then on my, on my last step, my translucent, I smooth that down. Okay, so that gives you a little hint there. So this is your liquid foundation brush. I like the angles because you can get like right in here and right in there. Awesome. But on the days that I want to have a little bit thicker coverage, I use this Mary Kay, it's called the Mary Kay blending um, brush. And it, this looks like a sponge, doesn't it? But these are really fine. Look at this. It's, let's see if I can get it up here. It's really fine bristles. I don't even know how many, but if you look at them, there's a ton. And so when I want a little bit more coverage, I use this one. And then I just put it on my hand like I did before. And I actually just take it and I take it down like this. And I mean, I really cover. And it's just, it's just a little bit thicker. So it gives you a little bit more coverage. Okay, so that one is called the blending, the Mary Kay blending brush, and that is 16. Okay, okay, next, what do we have? I covered, I'm so fast, it's hard for me to even take myself. Okay, this is a brush <laughs> that's not a brush. Okay, this is the brush that we use, it's our mask applicator, but I wanted to show it too, because when you do your charcoal mask or your um, any of the masks that we have, instead of doing it with your fingers, you can do it with this. And it's really nice with the charcoal mask because it didn't, it doesn't get all over your fingers. Okay. So, and it gives you a really smooth, even coverage when you're putting it on and it rinses off real easy and you're not wasting it in like, um, a regular type brush. Okay. So that is the mask applicator and it is 12. Okay. So let's go to 
eyes. There's lots of brushes for eyes. So we've already seen the blending brush. So one of the ones that I start with first is this one and it is the all over. Oh, excuse me, let me go back. I wanna show you the cream color brush. This is the cream color brush and it is a it's stiff. If you can kind of see, let's see, it go like this. It's stiff. And so this is for concealer or cream, you know, cream eyeshadow. And so I use this one every day as well. Once I put my concealer on, I take this and I, I pat it in here. So like if I have concealer, I just pat it on and it just helps it stay where I put it. Sometimes you take concealer and you're rubbing it on like this. Guess where all the concealer is? Right there on the bottom of your fingers. Okay. So I, I take it and like I put concealer right here. So I'll just pat it in there. Okay. I also sometimes around my lip line, you know, I will go through there in case my lipstick, you know, went crazy on me. So I love this cream, um, this cream br a brush that you can use for concealer or you could use for any kind of blending cream. Okay. So that's that one. And this con cream concealer, I call it cream concealer brush, but it's cream blood, uh, brush is how much is it? It's 12. Okay, so now eyes. All right, this one is called the All Over Eyeshadow Brush. Now, let me, uh, <laughs> this is why I have the new ones here because mine have been used many times. Okay, let me find it on here. Well, I'm gonna have to show you mine. Okay, this is it. <laughs> anyway, so this would be the first brush I use when I'm putting on my eyeshadow. I put it in the eyeshadow and then I it's kind of fat. So I usually, I either just pat it across so it's not getting all over the place or I just lightly put it on like that. So this is the all over eyeshadow brush. I also use it if I'm going like right under here, under my brows, you know? And so it's just, it's just like your basic eyebrow, eye, um, your brush and it, it works really really well okay and then we have a a crease brush and that is this one and the crease brush it says eye crease on it it is angled you see how it's angled right here and so this is perfect because when you're doing your eyeshadow and you're trying to get in your crease you can there's a couple of ways you can do it you can take it and you can just hold it like you're the smaller part at the bottom and just go just like this okay or you can do it upside down and you can do the, the long part at the bottom of your crease and go like that, whatever it feels better in your hand. But it just helps you get that really nice crease. And you can also take it and like go right here on the sides, you know, like this, you have a little more control of where it is. So this is your eye crease brush and it's 12. Then we have the smudger brush, okay? And this is the eye smudger brush. This eye smudger brush, there you go. How about this way? <laughs> what this is for is anywhere you want to smudge and make it look kind of like that smoky look. So the way I use it is I put my eyeliner on and then a lot of times I'll take a little bit of eyeshadow and then I take the smudger brush and I go right under here so that I have, I don't like harsh lines under there. I don't think, I think they make you look older when these are too harsh. So I smudge it and then sometimes I'll also just go right on top of my eye, um, just right along the lashes right here, okay? And I'll put a little extra eyeshadow right over my eyeliner. Or if I'm not using eyeliner, I'll just use this brush, okay? So it's a great little brush and it just does the job. Okay, this little brush is, how much is this brush? It's 12, all right? Now the, let's see if that's all the brushes right here. Okay, so we have another one and um, I could not find a new one. So I'm having to show you mine. <laughs> and I use this like so much. Okay, and it's got two, two ends to it. And this is the eyebrow eyeliner brush. So the top looks like a little mascara one. Okay, so you use this for combing out your brows, you know, brushing them up and over. Okay, so I always try to brush them up and over. And I remember when I first started selling Mary Kay, my consultant said, okay, you want to brush them down and then brush them against the grain and then brush them up to get any kind of makeup or powder that's in your brushes, that's in your eyebrows. So 
I do that. <laughs> and so, so it also works if you feel like when you're done, if you think they look like they're kind of stuck together, maybe use some of the brow tint and it just gives you a little bit more of a natural look with your brows. But I love the way this brush, and I, I mean, I use it every single day. Okay, now the bottom of it, I also use. This is a eyeliner brush and you can use it with your eyeshadow. You can wet your eyeshadow to use it. It also does, does great with the gel eyeliner. And so I just take it because it's really thin. You know, you can see it's really pointed and it's stiff. Okay, so you can really get in there and make a really nice, you know, line. Or if you're doing like gel um, eyeliner, you could take it and, you know, just go up with it. And so it's, I use it every day. I, I need it. I need every one of these brushes every single day. <laughs> I always say it takes a lot of time and money to look this natural. Just kidding. Okay. Not kidding on the, kidding on the money, not the time. <laughs> I think it's very reasonable. So those are all of our brushes, you guys. Um, that last one was 10. So there is a, a brush set. So let me tell you that what comes in the brush set. All right. So the first brush that comes in the brush set is the all over powder brush. So that comes in the brush set because you save a little bit of money doing it this way. The other one is this really awesome cheek brush that has a place for your highlighter as well. And then you get three of the eyeshadow brushes. Okay. You get the little sponger, the smudger brush. You get the all over eyeshadow brush. Okay. And you get the crease brush this one right here. So all of these come in this little thing and there's also extra room for travel that you can stick the rest of your brushes in here. And it even has a handy dandy little piece of paper that shows you how to use your brushes. Okay, but this is pretty cool because it zips up, you know, really nice and keeps your brushes nice and clean and no powder is gonna go on anywhere in your luggage or anything. So this little brush set is 55. That's with all the brushes. So it's a great deal. And then you can just add all the other brushes with it. So just as a reminder, if you wanna get this cool, this little set right here, <laughs> this is your all over brush. This is the newest one from Mary Kay and not all over, it's called Eye Blending Brush. All right, and you get this cool thing to put all your brushes in, and this is 22. All right, so those are the prices on the brushes. If you want to, you can call your beauty consultant and just say, hey, listen, I need all of the brushes, all of them, <laughs> because you do. You 100% need all of the brushes <laughs> because it does make a difference, and if you don't believe it, just get them. You know, everything that we sell a Mary Kay is 100% guaranteed. So if you buy a brush and you're like, I don't like this brush, don't do what she said, you can return it. No big deal. We'll give you money back or give you something different. So that's our little mini brush clinic today. And so contact your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant to get all your equipment to make your face just as beautiful as it possibly can be. Thanks for watching, you guys.